So I'm doing a monthly favorites video and these are actually products that I used a lot in the last month, September. Um, especially when I was in New York. So the first thing I wanted to show you is a blush by Sleek, um, Sleek Makeup. And this is the blush in Suede. I think this is limited edition, I'm not sure. Um, it's from their nude collection. But this blush is really, really pretty. I'm not wearing it today, but um, I'll zoom you in so you can kind of see the color more accurately. So it's this really nice terracotta, almost like a brown tone shade of blush. And it's just very, very natural when you apply it. Um, I don't know if you can see it there on my finger. It's just this really nice, almost like tawny shade um, that is very versatile. Like you can wear this with so many different looks. I really like to wear this with sort of a warm makeup look if I'm wearing red lips or if I'm wearing gold tones or something. This just looks very flattering. And it's just one of those blushes that kind of goes with everything. You don't even really have to think about it. Um, you just slap it on. I think this blush in general just looks really good on fair to medium skin tones. Um, really, really like this. And I used it a lot. Um, this was probably, I wore this almost like every day in New York. So I had to include that in the favorites. Um, another product that I've been reaching for a lot is this very inexpensive drugstore face powder and this is by Catrice and it's their skin finish powder. There it is and I am wearing the shade 020 natural beige and it's just a mattifying pressed powder. It says that it's an ultra silky powder with light reflecting pigments for an even mattified and radiant finish all day long. I honestly haven't noticed like the light reflecting particles. Like I think it's just a matte you know, it's just a mattifying powder and I just felt like I wanted to get something cheap, <laughs> you know, because I used to use the MAC powder and honestly, I don't really notice a big difference between powders. Um, um, I Another powder that I really like, this isn't part of the favorites, but this is like the Ben Nye one. So this is the one that I tend to use at home, but just for taking along with me in a purse, I'm just like, well, why spend money on a really expensive one? So. The Catrice one for me works fine. Then I wanted to talk about a lip combo that I was wearing pretty much again every day in New York. This was kind of like my go-to lip products that I reached for. So one of them is the Lipstick in Brave and this is by MAC and this is a very natural looking color on me. It's one of those like my lips but better lipsticks. Like it's almost like my natural lip color but a bit more rich toned so there's that color yeah it's a satin finish and then on top i wore this lip gloss by maybelline this is the MN mny line this is i think this was a limited edition one but it's 908a and i think this is a really good dupe to mac um flora abundance i think it is but again drugstore prices so really inexpensive and I'll swatch it beside there. So there's the swatch beside it. But I actually like to wear this on top of that lipstick. So I'll put some on top and then you can kind of see what it looks like. So that was like my go-to lip combo in, in New York. <laughs> I wore this so much because it was really like appropriate for day but also for evening. So, um, you know, for evening I kind of did more like darker smoky eyes. So this was like my go-to lip combo. Okay, next I really have been enjoying the Inglot Cream Concealer, the one that I picked up um, in Times Square and I ranted about that store because the service was really bad. But this product is really good. It's the Cream Concealer and it's in a green tone. It's kind of hard to show you the color accurately. Maybe like that. Um, so it's very minty green toned and I use this for concealing redness. I get some redness around my eyes, it's just natural <laughs> how my eyes look. So it's basically like a corrector to neutralize the red and I just use a very very tiny amount and it just really spreads very well. It's really creamy but it doesn't um, it doesn't crease, like I kind of use a powder to set it and then it's fine. And it's the number 60 cream concealer by Inglot. Next, um, I've been really liking a couple nail polishes and one of them was the most frequently asked about nail polish in my Alexandra Stan video that I did. And this is the one that I was wearing. And I showed this I think in my Berlin haul, but I'll show it again just because a lot of people did ask about it and I really, really love this color. It's by Kiko Milano. Unfortunately, if you don't have a Kiko store, 
you probably won't be able to order it online because the, the website is all in Italian and I think they only ship to like Italy and a few others. I don't even know if they ship outside of Italy. Um, I think they don't. So this is kind of one of those nail polishes that if it's a lemming for you, it just might be really hard to get. Um, Cause I bought this in Germany. If you do have access to the Kiko store, this is number 336 and it's a beautiful cerulean blue. It's just a really unique color. Like I have a lot of blue, blue nail polish, but that one is really unique. And the two other ones that I really like are by Ani. So this is that nail polish brand where I actually won the trip <laughs> to New York. But I'm not just, you know, saying this because of the trip. I actually really love these eye, poli er, eye polishes. <laughs> nail polishes. This one over here is called Green Racing Drag number 369 and it's this gorgeous um, forest green color. It kind of reminds me of the one by NARS, I forget what it's called. Oh, Zulu. It looks a little bit like Zulu and also um, Ilamasca. This one is probably my favorite uh, nail polish by Ilamasca and it's Rampage. Um, so the Green Racing Drag is a little bit lighter, it's a bit more green toned, it's kind of hard to describe, but they're very, very similar. So if you're looking for something that's very close to this, um, the Green Racing Drag by Ani is very close. And this one I also really like by Ani, and this is called Fifth Avenue, so this was really appropriate named. <laughs> um, and it's this gorgeous deep red. It I don't know if it's really showing color accurately on the camera, but it's a red, but it has kind of like a a little bit of a burgundy wine tone to it, but it's not super like dark. But I think this is such a good red for fall. I, I, if I wear red nail polish, I usually wear it in the fall. That's the only time I really like to wear red nails, like fall and winter. So this is a really good one, I think, for the fall season. It's just a really nice red, and it's again cream finish. And the Ani nail polishes you can buy at Douglas. Um, Again, not sold in North America yet. Hopefully they'll expand sometime, oh, I don't know. I also wanted to mention a mascara that I'm absolutely loving. And this is kind of like an old favorite. This is just something that um, I picked up again recently because I was trying out different mascaras and I picked up this one again. And it's the Max Factor False Lash Effect. And this is kind of similar to the um, CoverGirl one. Um, what is it called? Lash Blast, I think. So it has that kind of thick, um, that very thick wand, but I don't know. I tried the CoverGirl one and I didn't like the CoverGirl one as much because I found that the CoverGirl one dried out like so fast. This one doesn't dry out as fast on me, I think, and it just, I don't know, I just like this one better. And lastly is actually a shower product <laughs> that I just recently purchased, but I love it. It's the one by Nivea and it's the Double Effect Shower and Shave. Um, gel. So it's basically a shower, like a shower gel, but you can also use it for shaving because I don't really buy separate products for like shaving my legs, like a shaving cream or something. I used to, but this one works so well because I think it has um, avocado oil and it has this amazing passion fruit scent. Um, passion fruit is one of my favorite scents for shower and like bath products. So when you put this on, it has kind of um, a very gel-like texture, like it's very slippery. So it works really well if you want to shave your legs because it really helps the razor to like glide much better. And at the same time, it's also a shower gel, so you can use it on the rest of your body. So it kind of does two in one. And you know, it's inexpensive, it's from the drugstore, and I just really, really like this. All right, so that's actually it for this month for favorites. Um, before I go, I probably will get questions about my nails, like always. So there you can see them up close, and I actually used quite a few different nail polishes for this. This isn't just like one nail polish. So if you want to know which nail polish that is, please check the info bar. I always list, or I try to always list my nail polish there unless I forget. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see you very soon. Bye!